our worlds are in danger. To save them and the galaxy, we must find the four cyber planet keys before the Decepticons can use them for evil. It is our mission. Hotshot, Jetfire, Vector Prime, Landmine, Scattershot, Optimus Prime, Transform and Roll Out. Transformers. Wage their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons. Strike isn't the only thing. What can he possibly know about leadership? Oh, nonsense. Strength is what leads the masses. Commands their respect. My strength united an entire world. Now it seems it's not enough. Impossible! Strength will save my own world. Strength is enough. It must be. It's all I have. So Scourge just beat them up and then wandered off? That jerk. What about Leo Breaker and Snarl? Are they okay? They're sort of sleeping it off right now, but they should be fine. Lori? They said that Scourge was still around here somewhere, so be careful. Right. He should look out for me. Huh? Oh, man. Lori just totally dissed a fire-breathing dragon. That's actually pretty awesome. I'm glad she's on our side. You know, I really thought I was getting through to Scourge. <sighs> I guess some people never learn. But Lori, are Kobe and the rest of the team okay? Everyone's fine. Leo Breaker and Snarl got a little banged up is all. <sighs> That's good. So Optimus, how much farther do we have to go anyway? Hard to say exactly, but we should be getting close. Another two or three levels. <sighs> guess we better get going then. Huh? Mm-hmm. I see. Excellent job, soldier. What's with the junior commander? Bud's been organizing the minicons. Sure, and the lad's a born leader. Bud? A leader? Whoa. Now I guess I've finally seen everything. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what's the news, commander? Commander Bud, we... Oh, ma'am? Oh, uh, <laughs> hi. That's got it. Minicon team, fall in! Minicons, attend hot! Sir! Sound off! Yo! Team, we're gonna secure the next area. Don't take any chances and watch each other's backs. Minicons, roll out! Careful, bud. We can't be sure what's up ahead. Don't worry, Commander. We're professional. We're ready for anything. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huh? Check it out! Bud? Bud! Bud! Uh... Camouflage training? Check it out! These engravings totally fit us! They're not like anything else I've ever seen on Gigantion! These little dudes are Minicon size! So what's that supposed to mean? Some giant bot-like action figures? Huh? <laughs> Bud! Be careful, Lori! Hey, Bud! Okay, guys. There should be a downward passage just on the other side of this city. So, who's up for a little race, huh? You're on! Slag! It's Galvatron! That guy's really getting on my last circuit. Well, if it isn't the toy soldiers, how bold of you. So, you want another beating? Your new power surprised us. But this time, it is different. I'm fixing to use your head as a hood ornament. Whoa, now that's some trash talk. Straight up. <laughs> then you won't be minding if I get a few licks in first. Come on now. 
deduced the angle of the passageway isn't too steep, so I'm sure they're all right, Lori. I'll be scrapped. Tis a minicon passage. A minicon passage? Twas said the wee folk had secret passages once, but that were long ago. I've never seen one till now. Hmm. Huh? Lori, be careful. But I have to go after them, Optimus. Of course, but we'll all go together. Together as a team, Lori. But this whole mess is all my fault. You can't blame yourself, Lori. What happened back there was an accident. But I leaned on the wall. And I let Bud and the Minicons enter the corridor ahead of us. But together we'll find them. Please trust me, Lori. Okay? All right. So where's this micro guy passage supposed to go anyway? Well, as the rumors would have it, they all lead down to... Oh, Minicon City! I mean, the city is huge, but the buildings, they're just like me size. I have always heard that there was once a city built just for Minicons, but it was abandoned and forgotten hundreds and hundreds of years ago. There's a museum downstairs? I guess our Minicon forefathers didn't subscribe to the policy of erasing their own past. Hmm... I suppose we should wait for the others, but I got a feeling they're not going to make it through that narrow shaft. So we ought to search the city for another entrance. Let's go! We'll go down one level, then split up to search for Bud. Can't do, Chief! Right, Optimus! Oh, Bud, that poor little kid. He's got to be so scared and worried down there. Awesome! Cool! Sweet! Um, you're not worried, Bud? About what? Being lost out on a distant planet! Oh, that's nothing to worry about, Jolt Old Buddy. Being lost is what I do best. I see. <sighs> Are you supposed to be investigating the museum for useful information? How's that going? Oh, that's right. And that's what I came over to tell you. It's amazing! There's an entire history of the Minicons, right from our very early beginnings. So were they shrunk by mysterious forces, huh? Long ago, back in the ancient times, all the Transformers on Gigantion were like the Autobots, but they had to increase their size and power to fight off an invasion. So that explains why Metroplex and the others are Giganto-size. But what about the Minicon? What's the deal with them, Jolt? Right after the war, the giant bots were too big to repair the computers. <gasps> You mean they forced all the Minicons to do all the micro work? Precisely! And all those centuries of doing detailed work is what made the Minicon brain work exactly like a human's. What? Like a human's? Yeah, of course! Think back, bud. Don't you remember Red Alert telling everybody that after we scanned my memory banks? Sounds vaguely familiar. Oh well, I tend to forget long-winded junk like that. I guess you could say, I like to save my brain space for really cool stuff. Does that mean you'll forget this conversation? Yeah, I guarantee it. Uh. And anyway, who cares how our brains work? We make an awesome team. Hey, am I right, guys? You're so happy, but we're lost. So come on, there's no point in moping. Either way, we'd still be lost, so I'm going to be happy, regardless. I guess that's true. Let's keep on exploring the rest of the city, you guys. Yeah! No can you, big guy! Is that the best you can do? You're a sorry bunch, aren't you? Yeah, sorry we have to do this! Kisser! A credible effort, but you'll have to do better than that. Well, all right, but remember, you asked for it! <laughs> okay, Menasaur, this is your last chance! For what? Triangle attack! <laughs> Frontal attack! Fire! I'm just what's that supposed to do? Aye, that'll do. Now then, how do you want to play this out, Galvatron? 
You've beaten that bumpkin, but remember, I've bested you twice already. Just thought I'd remind you of that fact. So what? Every time you knock us down, we just come back stronger! Then I'll finish the job. Check it out! A Minicon playground! Looks that way. I guess if you guys think like humans, you need to play like humans. In fact, according to the legends, there's even an amusement park. You're messing with me. No, it's true. Just like the ones I've seen in your home movies. Rides, games, unhealthy food, roller coasters. Yeah, I'd like to see it just to gather data. Oh, come yeah, on. I'd like to see it just to gather data. Oh, come on. You know you want it. And a couple of rides. Mini cons. Roller coaster. <laughs> Oh, wow! What happened here? Whoa! Something really tore this place up big time! Ah! Look at the size of this claw mark! And it's fresh! Ah! So what? So what? So whatever giant monster did all this is still around here somewhere! Oh, this isn't good! What are we gonna do, bud? What are we gonna do? How can we hope to defend ourselves against something like that? <laughs> Calm down. Hey, come on, guys. Simba Spectre Prime, Optimus Prime, anybody Prime. <laughs> <laughs> My stomach. Bud, what is it? <laughs> is it your appendix? Your pancreas? It's... it's... Yes? What is it? It's about time you guys stopped your running around in circles and listened to me for once. Huh? Let's head back to the museum where it's safe. So you were baking the whole stomachache thing? Well, I had to get your attention somehow. Huh? I suppose. <laughs> hey, watch it, but... Impressive. Huh? It's Scourge! Scourge is a rampaging terror who destroyed the city! Hey, you guys, would you settle down for a minute? It's no monster. It's just Scourge. <laughs> what do you mean, just Scourge? Lori said not to worry about you. Little sister, is she here too? Not now. She was with us earlier, though. <sighs> Did she look mad? Not mad exactly. More like kind of disappointed. I think she really wants you to be a good guy. I know she does, but it's not that easy. Yeah, you seem like a complicated guy. My position is difficult. So, what did you mean by impressive? Hmm? Oh, to be frank, I thought you showed great leadership back there. Back where? Oh, the stomach ache? Yes. I wish I could use such guile. You brought order out of chaos, and you didn't even have to beat up anyone. You want better leadership skills? Is that why you went ballistic back there? Uh, I don't have to explain myself to you. Well, welcome to the Bud School of Painless Leadership. Okay, people, take your seats. Class is now in session. What seats? Just sit down, would you? And raise your hand if you want to ask a question. Okay, now I'll take roll. Is this necessary? Yes, and raise your hand. Hey, simple Galvin, bro. Keep one eye on me, and the other on me. And don't forget to watch your back. Booyah! <laughs> You have improved. I might just have to battle you at full power. Ah, I've been reborn. So have we. <laughs> but if you've been reborn and I've been reborn, then that places us back where we started, doesn't it? With me as your unquestioned superior. I'll question your superiority right now. We're more than ready to take you on. Excellent. Then let us begin. Okay, so these five guys go on a treasure hunting expedition, but they find six treasures. The question is, what's the best way to split the treasure? The strongest one among them should take two treasures. The others should be satisfied with one. Uh, 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 sorry, that's the wrong answer, Scourge. Wrong? 
But, but that's impossible! Each guy gets to keep one of the treasures, and the extra treasure pays for their next treasure hunt. You got it? Next treasure hunt? Okay, suppose our five treasure hunters are getting really sleepy, but there are only four beds. So how would you solve a situation like that, Scourge? Well, the weakest one would sleep on the floor, of course. Incorrect! You set up a giant big tent in the backyard, and all five treasure hunting guys sleep in sleeping bags. Well, how am I supposed to come up with an answer like that? I didn't know there was a tent there. <laughs> You're supposed to bring the tent with you, silly. But, but, but that's not the point. But that's exactly the point. My dad told me the key to being a great leader was thinking outside the box, finding a new way to solve problems. You see, you've got to be a creative thinker. Well, I could have come up with those answers if I was allowed to make stuff up. So go ahead, make stuff up. I never said you couldn't, did I? What? Oh. <laughs> no, you didn't, did you? So I'm allowed to make stuff up? Sure, why not? Hmm, I see. All this time I've been trapped inside myself, weakened by my own strength. Okay, now I'm lost. I'm thinking outside the box! <laughs> cool! <laughs> hey, look! It's Wing Saber! Hey, bud, what's going on? The whole team's out looking for you and you're hanging around with this guy? Give me a break! It so happens you're interrupting my class, Lori. So what are you teaching him anyway? Tell her. Well, it was some, uh, leadership techniques. Whatever you guys are up to, I'm glad you're not hanging out with any Decepticons. <laughs> hey, yeah! Maybe you can come and join the Autobots! Well... There you are, Lenny! You had us worried! With good reason. You picking on children now, Scourge? No, Optimus! Wait! Scourge didn't come here to fight! Autobots, I challenge you to a duel! What? Scourge, you don't have to fight anymore! But... I got a feeling this is something Scourge needs to do. Huh? Oh. He's changed. Hmm. Are you sure? This score must be settled one way or another. Very well. We accept. Who will be the first to oppose me? I'll test your metal. Then begin! Yeah! Well done! Who is next? I, Victor Prime, accept your challenge! <sighs> Begin! <laughs> Keep going! is all mine. Override. Wait. What? <sighs> I'll be facing Scourge next. Okay, Wing Saber. It's time to link up. Link up? But... <laughs> Just as it should be. Optimus at top power. A great warrior deserves no less. Optimus Prime! Sonic Wing Mode! I accept your challenge! But this is crazy! Stop it! Stop it! There's no reason to fight! Bud, stop yelling. But Lori! This is a duel of honor, just like in the movies. I think you should be able to understand that. For honor. Begin! So, Optimus Prime, Scourge! Ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 I 
I hope he finds peace. Optimus Prime. I don't think I can move. I guess our battle is finished. Uh, you fought with honor, Scourge. Stop looking so mopey, bud. Scourge is gonna be okay. I know. So what's wrong? I just thought it would have been cool to have him on our team. Well, maybe someday. <laughs> Tron! Ah, this is such a waste of my time. Still, they did put up a good fight. Their battle to destroy the evil forces of the Decepticons.